Hey guys, Sam from Baller Barbecue here, and this week I'm making bacon wrapped onion bombs on my Pit Boss pellet grill. So let's get into it. So here in a bowl, I've got 500 grams of ground beef, and to that I'm gonna add an egg, and then get in there with your hands and mix that egg through the beef. Make sure it's mixed really well. All right, that's looking pretty good. So now to that, we're gonna add our flavorings. So I've got a teaspoon of ground pepper, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of Italian herbs, which is a mixture of basil, oregano, rosemary, a pinch of cayenne pepper, and then to that I'm going to add a good dollop of barbecue sauce. And about the same amount of tomato sauce. and a couple of handfuls of cheese. Now get in there with your hands again and give it a good mix through. You wanna make sure it's mixed really well so there aren't any kind of big blobs of cheese or anything else in that ground beef. And if you find the mixture is still a little bit wet, you can add a little bit of breadcrumbs just to dry that out a bit and then mix it through again. Okay, so that consistency is looking pretty good. So now we will put that aside and get our onion ready. Okay, now the shell on the onion bombs is just gonna be made from a large onion. So just cut the ends off it. discard those and then cut the onion in half and then we'll peel off the skin just be careful that you don't destroy any of those layers just under the skin because they are going to become the shell of our onion bombs all right so that's looking pretty good Now just peel the other half. And just trim it up, get any bits of skin off that you couldn't get off before. And now we have to try and peel off these outer layers of onion without splitting them. Can be a little bit tricky bit fiddly. There you go, they're coming apart. Alright, so once you've got those shells, we will grab our meat. Grab a little handful and form it into a ball. And then we'll put it inside one of those shells. Form it up and put on that shells. Other half. All right, so that's looking good. So we'll put that aside and we'll just do the same to the rest of these shells. So it might help if you peer them up a bit. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to need another onion. So I'll just grab that, cut it up, and I'll just do the same as I did 
to the other onion. Okay, so once you've put those onion shells on, we're just going to wrap the whole thing in bacon. So just take a strip of bacon, wrap it around. So that one's looking pretty good, so I'll just go ahead and do the rest. And yeah, I think I will just put a toothpick through there, just to help hold it together. And I'll transfer them all onto a rack, which can then go straight on the grill. Just a little bit easier for moving them around. Alright, so they're looking real good, so we'll take them out to the grill. Okay, so here I am at the pellet grill, just turning it on to its smoke setting, and it will just go through its startup procedure. And once it's finished starting up, we'll close the lid and turn the pellet grill up to 175 degrees. And then we'll go ahead and put those onion bombs straight in the grill, and we'll leave it there for an hour at 175 degrees. Okay, so these onion bombs have now been on the grill for an hour and they're looking pretty good. Should have oiled that tray because now they're stuck to the tray, but that's all good. We just put it on onto a chopping board and take it inside. You might pay to grab some tongs because they are hot. All right, so here they are. They smell amazing, and I'm sure they're gonna taste just as good. So we just pull those toothpicks out. And we can grab a knife and cut it in half and have a look. Oh, look at that. Hot as, cooked all the way through. Delicious. Alright guys, so that's how to cook bacon wrapped onion bombs on the Pit Boss Pellet Grill. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and then you won't miss out on any future videos. And we'll see you again next time.